Hello everyone. Welcome to our another video in the series on mastering data structures and algorithms. Today we'll be talking about traversals into the linked list. Let's begin. I'm Dr. Prashanti Gupta. This is a link to my website that contains lots of good materials. Please visit the website. My passion is research and teaching. Now, traversing means to visiting each and every node in a linked list only once and printing out the value that is present in the node. So let's begin. This is the address of the first node, and this is like a traversal pointer that we have declared in our program. Now, if the starts value is null, so we simply print that list is empty and the program exits. If this is not the case, then the control jumps to the else part, where we initialize the value of the traversal pointer. Until the time traversal link is not equal to null, we print out the traversal information and keep on incrementing the traversal by setting its value to the successive nodes. That is traversal equals to traversal link. Now, as soon as our program reaches the last node, so this statement or this check in the while loop is going to be false. And therefore, we have to print the value in the last node by using this print statement. And then our control exit. You could have simply used over here, traversal not equal to null also. Then we would have not have required this statement. However, as we all know from our previous videos that while loops are very much costing in a program. So we are saving essentially one iteration of the while loop by using temps link not equal to the null. So let's see, this is, so suppose you are given this linked list. Now we can clearly see that starts value is not null. Therefore, this statement will not be executed and the control will jump to the else part. So now traversal is initialized to the value start, that is the address of the first node. And clearly, traversal link is not equal to null. Therefore, this information is printed, that is the info one, the value in the first node, and traversal value is incremented to point to the next node, that is second node. We we'll keep on progressing further and printing the out the values till the time we reach the last node. Now, in this case, traversal link not equal to null. Now, this check will be false. So therefore our program will exit out of the while loop. These statements will not be executed. And the control prints out the traversal information. That is the info part of the last node. And then simply our program exits. Now this is straightforward conversion to the C program. This is the structured declaration. These are our header files. And these are our pointers. Uh, this statement should be terminated by the semicolon. Now we check if start equals to null, so we print that list is empty, just same as over here. And else we check if else we initialize the traverses value equal to the start and we check till the time traversal link is not null. So then we keep on printing the value in the traverses information part and keep on incrementing traverser to point to the next node. In our program exits, we print the value in the last node and our program simply ends. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more and more good videos that will coming up soon. Thank you.